I meet a group of people who believe that technology and humanity should combine. We can do more than what we're currently capable of. I speak to those at the beginnings of their journey. That I am slowly turning myself into a part machine. And those who have taken their evolution into their own hands. Oh, the thing in her arm was very scary. But I do think it's also quite frightening. This is my journey into the world of transhumanism. What's up, all my freedom-loving populace out there? Peasant Journalist here. I apologize for the little bit of a nasally sound. I am a little under the weather. It's not COVID. I promise. Uh, just a common cold. That's it. That's all it is. But I want to talk a little bit today about transhumanism. This is obviously a big topic uh, from you know my, a lot of my platforms. I've been talking a lot about transhumanism. And I do believe that this is the, the next big culture war that we'll be facing. Transgender rights is, is one of the big things, obviously, right now. Vaccine mandates, all that stuff, you know, is, is a part of a culture war. But the transgender aspect of things, I, I do believe that there's a an agenda playing out that eventually they're going to be pushing for transhuman rights. And in many ways, in some ways, they already have been pushing for transhuman rights so what what is that what is transhuman rights uh what would that look like uh and then for people that value freedom like me liberty right what is that going to look like uh when it comes from a freedom aspect i do believe that these tr transhumans uh the future transhumans will be pushing for transhuman freedom transhuman rights and so i am of the opinion that yes, obviously we need to be engaged in our day-to-day -day activities and day-to-day -day political things that are going on, paying attention. We also need to be thinking about the future, kind of where things are headed. Because again, I do believe this is an agenda. And so there's an agenda being pushed and is playing out here. And so what is the what does the future look like over the course of the next 10 years? I think transhumanism is going to be one of these topics that's less known now uh, that will be one of the top uh, if not the the most uh, the biggest culture war topic out there, that makes sense. So transhumanism, obviously, it is it's just this idea that we can, as the human race, evolve beyond what we are now. We can be evolve beyond our physical, biological limitations through science and technology. Okay, science and technology is allowing us to transcend beyond our current human form. And so they would say, you know, I did a, pr a prior video that there's many of these transhumanists that would say that we have a moral obligation to become transhuman or to push some of these transhuman technologies. Uh, for example, like gene editing, like I mentioned, uh, it's I mentioned before. You know, who, who are we to tell a family that they could not uh, gene edit? You know, we get to the point where technology is able to locate that this child that they're about to have is going to have sickle cell anemia. Who are we to tell them that they can't use CRISPR technology to remove that genetic code and then insert synthetic code? You know, that brings up a whole topic of we don't still don't know, you know, what this synthetic code would how it would really react with the biological body. We don't, we don't know these things. Okay. But what I'm saying is that these are the types of topics that are going to be coming up over the course of the next decade. Okay. And I do think that it's going to be pushed from a uh, healthcare perspective first, but this is eventually, it, it may not even be, it may be both at the same time, but I think the other aspect of this is going to be enhancement. People are going to want to use this technology to enhance themselves make themselves smarter, uh, literally to the point where they could, I, I think that even the transgender push right now is that they do believe at some point that we'll be able to take, uh, you know, new medications, new technologies that could, could totally transform us into go from male to female easily. And I think that that's one of the reasons why they're pushing, you know, there's this movement 
it's already there it's set up and once they have the technology to actually be able to do that what are we what are we going to say to that because right now the argument is for conservatives right leading positions um, is that you know there's an obvious male female right is there's an obvious and i didn't mean to put one above the other but there's an obvious male female and, and females are the only ones that can have babies males can't like those are some of the arguments right that we have right now but i fear i don't fear necessarily but i uh foresee a little bit that that idea is going to be eroded through technology through medicine through advancements uh, in some of these technologies enhancement technologies especially that people would be able to change their genders and uh, participate you know just like a fully functioning person of that uh, that sex if that makes sense being able to switch sex and, and it's you know, a lot more advanced than what it is now to be able to be completely the opposite sex. I think we could get to that level, maybe not within 10 years, it could be 20 years, but this is what we'll be facing, okay? Um, and so again, it's not, not, not too mainstream. I do want to, you know, obviously, again, they're pushing trans rights or human rights. There's this movement, this transgender movement for rights, for them to be able to say that they're, whatever gender they want to be. And they've made up all these genders, right? So we see that movement pushing. And then there's also already been, there was actually a guy who ran for president, apparently, uh, Zoltan Isfahan. Anyways, he also delivered, he was the first transhuman candidate for president. I've never heard of it. So yeah, obviously he, you know, didn't do, he, he was not on the stage to, uh, of any presidential elections or anything so it's you know this is still kind of what a, i would say somewhat of a fringe community but it's growing pretty rapidly and i think it you know there's even a lot of people in the left leading positions that don't even know about this stuff really yet fully and that they will be a lot of the left will jump headfirst into transhumanism in my opinion uh, so he wrote this bill of rights Transhumanist Bill of Rights, where he's talking about, you know, what what is constitutes a sentient entity, things like that. And he says that digital intelligences should be considered, they should have rights, just like a human, cyborgs, human beings, including genetically modified humans, uh, intellectually enhanced, previously non-sapient animals. Okay, so this is like basically we're gonna. This opens up Pandora's box. Okay, and this is something I didn't even think about talking about. But this is the level that some of these people would want to take this technology to make their dog sentient and be able to communicate with them or whatever it is, you know, or to, to take some animal and give them a, a higher piece of intelligence, right? Um so again, where do we stand on this? There's got to be clear boundaries, right? And the fact that nobody's talking about this stuff and it's being pushed in these high level elite circles, transhumanism is, the fact that uh, we're not having active debates on mainstream media right now is a problem for me because this is, we're, we're heading towards a completely radical new world and they're pushing it right now through COVID, out of COVID is now emerging the fourth industrial revolution, which is the build back better, the great reset. All It's all the same thing. And it's ushering in fourth industrial revolution technology, which much of it is going to lead to transhumanism and artificial intelligence, us being able to merge with artificial intelligence, which I'm completely against. Um, so there, again, we have to, we need to be thinking about this. So please, please, share this video, share this channel uh, with anybody you think that would be interested in this type of thing. And I'm just, I'm looking to connect with people that are interested, interested in talking about these topics because um, again, I do believe that this is, we're, anybody who knows about this and is aware of it, you're ahead of the game. In my opinion, you're ahead of the game as far as the, most of the world, the masses are clueless about what the, the implications of all this stuff are. 
you know, and it's understandable. It's understandable. We're all trying to just live our lives. The common person is out there just trying to freaking live their life and enjoy it, right? But we've got all these high level elites that are shaping our world, shaping our future. I'm of the perspective we've got to know what they're doing. And this is, this is where they're taking us. We've got to confront this. We've got to think about this um, from lots of perspectives. Uh, and I don't think it's necessarily all black and white. I do believe that some of these people that are pushing this are evil. I do. There's evil Christians that claim to be Christians. Or, uh, this is my argument. There's evil people in all of society. Jewish evil people. Uh, people that, Muslims that are evil. Agnostics, atheists. There are evil people in every aspect of our world. Um, and again, getting into talking about what is evil and all that is another question. But people that really serve their own interest and they're willing to do whatever it takes, even if that is doing harm to another individual physically or mentally. These types of people exist in the world. And a lot of these people, in my opinion, um, have risen to these top, top level positions because they're able to... Uh, they're willing to do whatever it takes. Whereas the common person has morals and principles and, and boundaries, right? A lot of these people that are pushing this movement and that are pushing this one world system, uh, fourth industrial revolution, I do, I do believe a lot of these people are evil. And so that's why we need to be talking about this. That brings in a whole nother aspect. We could talk 30 minutes on that. Share this channel. Come follow me on uh, Rumble and YouTube, Peasant Journalist, on Getter and Twitter as well. And uh, come let me know what you think about all of this stuff. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, peace.